All right, so we got a distance formula here. The distance formula is generally derived from something you guys are pretty familiar with. It's called Pythagorean theorem, which works with right triangles, right? And it says, hey, a squared plus b squared is c squared. What if I wanted the distance from like a to b? I'm going to go ahead and put um, a, b, and c here as if it was Pythagorean theorem, right? a squared plus b squared would make this c the distance between these two points. So I'm going to write what that actually is, right? So instead of saying c squared, right, right here, I'm going to write d squared or distance squared. And then how do I get this a, right? Well, this a is the difference between this x, right, and this x. So if I subtract the x's, it's going to tell me how far right I moved. So my a squared up here turns into x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then how do I get this distance here? Well, it's a vertical line, so I'm only going up and down, which is the difference between my y's, y2 minus y1. And if I go ahead and take the square root of both sides, I know the square root of this is distance is equal to the square root of x squared minus x1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared, and that's called a distance formula. All right, so we're going to find all of these distances right here. And um, I'm going to just do one of these right now. I'm going to just do this one. All right, so look, here's the distance formula. Let's write it right up here. Distance equals the square root of my second x minus my first x squared plus my second y minus my first y squared. All right, so let's go AB, the distance of AB is equal to, well, let's come over here and write this. This A is negative 4, 4, right? This B is 1, 2. So the distance is, well, my, I take the square root of my x minus my x, so 1 minus negative 4, 1 minus negative 4, that quantity squared, all right? Plus, and now I do my y's, 2 minus 4, 2, uh, 2 minus 4 squared. Well, 1 minus negative 4 is 5, and 5 squared is 25. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, and negative 2 squared is 4. So my distance is literally the square root of 29. And that's from AB. This is rad 29. Let's do CD. All right. So I'm going to do the distance of CD. All right, that is equal to... So let's get C. D. C is looks to be 2, 3. There's the x and y. And D is 4, negative 2. All right. So my distance is x minus x. So we'll say 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 squared plus 2 minus 3. Oh, is that negative 2? Sorry. Negative 2 minus 3. Negative 2 minus 3 squared, which gives me 2 squared plus... 5 squared, negative 5 squared, which is once again, distance is the square root of 29. Those guys have the same length. All right. So let's do A, B, C, D, E, F. Let's do E, F. So the distance of E, F, let's go ahead and mark them. This is 1, 2, this is negative 3, 2. And down here is negative 2, negative 3. All right, so my x minus my x, so it's negative 3 minus 2 quantity squared, plus my x, my y, negative 3 minus 2 quantity squared, and I get the square root of, well, that's 25 plus negative 25, that's 25, I get the square root of 50. I'm going to leave it like that, it breaks down, actually it breaks down to 5 rad 2, but we got that one, and let's do one more here, you try it. Pause me if you want, and I'll go through. I'm not going to talk through the answer. But let's get the distance of GH, and we're going to stop with this. All right.
And if you did it right, you're going to get rad 32 or 4 rad 2. All right, I'm going to pause. We're going to do some in class tomorrow, but know those steps. Know how to plug in a distance formula. And that leaves us a little bit more to go. And I'll talk to you soon.